Wait. There's something you need to see first. Taylor Lautner is an American actor who became mega popular thanks to the vampire saga Twilight. But his other projects were not so noticeable and successful, so in recent years, Lautner's name has not been around a lot. Watch this video to find out about how one of the most promising young actors ended up on the sidelines of Hollywood. Taylor Lautner, what happened to the Twilight Saga star? Taylor Daniel Lautner was born on February 11, 1992 in Grand Rapids, the second largest city in Michigan. His mother, Deborah, worked for a software development company, and his father, Daniel, was a commercial airline pilot. Taylor has Dutch, French, and German roots, and on his mother's side, he's related to the Native Americans of the Yadawa and Potawatomi tribes. When Taylor was four years old, a fire broke out in their house. Fortunately, no one was injured, but the Lautners had to move to Hudsonville in the suburbs of Grand Rapids. After two years, the family had a daughter, McKenna, with whom Taylor is still very friendly with. And as children, they had fun together, playing spies and secret agents. At the age of six, the boy took his first karate lesson, and a year later, he went to a national tournament where he met Thai American martial artist Michael Chattaranambut, also known as Mike Chat. Lautner trained with him for several years, earning a black belt by the age of eight and winning several World Junior Championships. In middle school, Lautner also played baseball, football, and horseback riding. But it was karate that led him to acting. Chat, who had experienced filming on television, suggested that Taylor try his hand at acting and audition for Burger King. Those auditions were unsuccessful, but Lautner liked the studio atmosphere, and he decided to become an actor. For several years, he and his parents would fly from Michigan to Los Angeles for auditions, sometimes returning home the same day to catch school in the morning. Classmates bullied him because of this, so Taylor realized early enough that if he wanted to be an actor, he should be able to cope with haters. When frequent trips became too tedious, in 2002, the Lautners moved to California, at first temporarily, and then when the boy began to steadily receive jobs, they finally settled in the city of Santa Clarita, near Los Angeles. By that time, Taylor had already played a small role in the Japanese-American action movie, Shadow Fury, while continuing to practice karate. So in 2003, he participated in an event of the International Sport Karate Association, which was broadcast on television. In Los Angeles, Taylor participated in all possible auditions, voice commercials while attending acting courses. In 2003-2004, he appeared in the musical comedy show The Nick and Jessica Variety Hour and episodes of several TV series, Bernie Mac Show, Summerland, and My Wife and Kids. In addition, Taylor was a member of the hip-hop team, LA Hip Kids, and the jazz dance group Hot Shots. In 2005, the young actor voiced the animated series What's New Scooby-Doo, Duck Dodgers, and Danny Phantom, and also got his first major role in the family fantasy movie The Adventure of Shark Boy and Lava Girl. If you want to stop the darkness from destroying our world, come with us. Filming took place in Austin, Texas, and lasted three months, with 90% of the film shot against the green screen. Lautner choreographed the fight scenes himself after director Robert Rodriguez found out about his martial arts skills. Although the film was not a success at the box office and received negative reviews from critics, Taylor was nominated for the Young Actor Award and received his first taste of fame. He was recognized on the streets and asked for autographs, and the directors themselves began to offer him jobs. A few months later, he played in the comedy Cheaper by the Dozen 2, which was severely criticized and called one of the worst films of the 2000s. In 2006, Taylor Lautner appeared in the television series Love Incorporated and voiced the cartoon He's a Bully, Charlie Brown, after which he took a two-year break in his career he devoted this time to studying. In high school, Taylor began dating classmate Sarah Hicks, their relationship lasted, according to various information, from a year to three years, but later they briefly united again. 
In 2008, the young man starred in Cassie Thompson's music video for the song Caught Up In You and returned to the screens in the TV series My Own Worst Enemy, playing the son of the main character. Lautner's early roles were described by Rolling Stones magazine as one and the same, a popular guy, an athlete, or a bully. But in November, Twilight was released on the screens, which became a hit worldwide. Taylor Lautner, who was 16 at the time, played Jacob Black, a Native American from the Quillute tribe. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Jacob. Hey. We, uh, we used to make mud pies when we were little. Right. No, I remember. <laughs> Am I always like this? And while preparing for his role, he learned more about his own roots. He met with the Quillowoots, trying to learn as much as possible about their lifestyle. The success of the Vampire Saga was a complete surprise for the creators of the movie, as well as for Lautner, who had not even heard about the book the film was based on before the audition. At the global box office, Twilight earned almost $393 million, while Taylor's payout was $1 million. Before filming the sequel, The Twilight Saga, New Moon, Lautner was almost replaced by another actor because according to the plot, Jacob had to change a lot externally. Studio managers saw Michael Copan in this role, but Taylor started working out immediately after the filming of the first part and eventually proved to his bosses that he was worthy of this role. Jake, you're like buff. How did that happen? You're like 16. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. Age is just a number, baby. In a short time, the actor gained almost 35 pounds of muscle mass, which delighted everyone and made Robert Pattinson feel insecure, because he also had to be in the shot without a shirt. In New Moon, Lautner was happy to perform tricks, and he especially liked to film scenes of himself turning into a wolf, when he was suspended by ropes and had to freeze, taking some kind of pose. Filming took place in Vancouver, and it was very cold there, and Lautner was going around half naked most of the time. Therefore, after each cut command, he would run into the warm trailer, wrap himself up in a lot of clothes, and try to keep himself warm. The actor's efforts were not in vain, because after the premiere in 2009, he received the title of a sex symbol. His fan clubs began to appear all over the world, and the payout for the work was already $4 million. Then in Vancouver, Taylor met singer and actress Selena Gomez. They dated for a short time, but due to the constant attention from the paparazzi, the girl decided to break up with him. Then the actor began filming the comedy drama Valentine's Day, where his partner was singer Taylor Swift. Uh, he's an amazing athlete. Go show him, babe. Go show him, go show him. So good. A romantic relationship began between them, which lasted only a few months. In December 2009, the couple broke up, after which Swift dedicated the song back to December to her former lover. Lautner was single only for a short time. At the Oscar ceremony, he already appeared with a new celebrity girlfriend, 18-year-old Emma Roberts, Julia Roberts' niece. In 2010, Lautner returned to the role of a werewolf in the third film of the Twilight Saga, Eclipse. This part is his favorite because it reveals the love triangle between Bella, Edward, and Jacob. And you need to know that I'm in love with you. And I want you to choose me instead of him. And the actor calls the scene in the tent his favorite scene. Before the start of filming, he and Robert Pattinson joked a lot, and after the action command, had to immediately stop it and pretend to hate each other. The film The Twilight Saga Eclipse received mixed reviews, but became the highest grossing romantic fantasy and film about werewolves and vampires of all time in the United States and Canada. Lautner's payout rose again and amounted to $7.5 million, plus 2.5% of the profit, which made him the highest paid teenage actor in Hollywood. Taylor's popularity grew, he was called one of the sexiest men on the planet and one of the most promising young actors. At the 2010 Scream Awards, Lautner won the Best Fantasy Actor Award, and in August, a biographical comic book about him was released in stores. In the same year, after graduating from high school, Taylor enrolled in one of the Los Angeles community colleges where he began studying online. In July 2011, the actor appeared in the comedy short film Field of Dreams 2, Lockout. 
And in August, the premiere of the action movie Abduction took place. Taylor was interested in this project because it required performing complex tricks, almost all of which he performed on his own. Before filming, Lautner underwent extensive training, including boxing, freestyle wrestling, swimming, and motorcycle racing. You want to drink like a man? Let's see if you can fight like a man. Come on, let's go! Hit me. Initially, the actor was supposed to appear shirtless in five or six scenes, but in his opinion, it was illogical. Therefore, in the end, there was only one short scene where it was appropriate for the plot. The film's box office was low, and the plot and Taylor Lautner's acting were harshly criticized. At the same time, the payout amounted to $7.5 million. On the set of Abduction, Taylor started dating his partner, Lily Collins, and their relationship lasted about a year. On November 3rd, 2011, Taylor and his co-stars Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart left their hand and footprints in front of Grauman's Chinese Theater in Los Angeles. And a few weeks later, the film Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn, Part 1, for which Lautner has already received $12.5 million, and according to some reports, 7.5% of the box office as well. It's weird to be back on two legs again. In clothes. <laughs> I don't know how to practice with the whole human thing. <laughs> the actor received the same payout for the final film of the Twilight franchise, Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2, which premiered in November 2012. You don't turn into an animal too, do you? <laughs> She wishes she was that awesome. The picture received a variety of Golden Raspberry Awards. Taylor got Plastic Berries for the Worst Supporting Actor, the Worst Acting Ensemble, and the Worst Screen Couple for a Duet with Mackenzie Foy. And the MTV channel gave Lautner the award for the Best Shirtless Performance. In 2013, the actor appeared in the comedy Grown Ups 2, after which he disappeared from the big screen for a while. Unlike his colleagues from the Twilight Saga, who agreed to diverse roles, Taylor Lautner was still only that Jacob. In addition, his appearance in the film did not guarantee box office success at all, and his agents demanded disproportionately high fees. So according to rumors, $7.5 million was requested for the role in the film, Stretch Armstrong, and $10 million in a historical drama based on the biblical story of David and Goliath. Both films eventually did not go into production. In 2014, Taylor began acting in the British TV series Cuckoo and stayed there until 2018. During this time, the actor appeared in the low-rated films Tracers and The Ridiculous Six, which did not even make it to the screens. It was not knowing I wasn't 100% white. I mean, I knew she must have been really muscular, but I had no idea she was. The latter was severely criticized, including for racist jokes, which put an anti-record on the website Rotten Tomatoes with a rating of 0%. At that time, Lautner was dating his colleague from Tracer, Mary Avgaropoulos. Their relationship lasted almost a year and a half, unlike an earlier short-term affair with actress Micah Monroe. There were also rumors that Taylor was in a relationship with Ashley Benson, Raina Lawson, and Liliana Mumi. The indie film Run the Tide in 2016, in which Taylor played the main role, could have become a new page in the actor's career. What do you do if somebody tries to take something from you? Or they try and push you around, huh? What do you do? Protect the plate. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Well, take the goddamn plate! Thank you. But critics unanimously accused him of unconvincing acting. A more successful project turned out to be the series Screen Queens in the comedy horror genre. In the second, and as it turned out the last season, Lautner got one of the main male roles, a hospital doctor suffering from a strange disease who becomes a suspect after a series of tragic events that occurred in the institution. During the filming, Taylor began dating actress Billy Lord, but less than a year later they broke up. According to media reports, the young man supported the girl when she lost her mother and grandmother, and their romantic relationship began after that. But then Billy threw herself at her job and suggested they should break up. At the end of 2017, 
There were rumors about an affair between Taylor Lautner and actress Olivia Holt after their joint trip to church. But in 2018, the actor introduced nurse Taylor Dome as his lover. Presumably, they met through his sister. Both girls study at a medical university and hang out. Their relationship continues to this day, and Lautner often posts pictures with his girlfriend, and recently it became known about their engagement. Together they take care of the dogs Lily and Remy. In general, Taylor is a big dog lover. From the age of 12, he had a Maltese lap dog, Roxy, but she died in 2018. In his interviews, Lautner has repeatedly said that he would like to star in an action movie, but is very picky in roles and is ready to wait for a really worthwhile offer. He spent his creative downtime with friends and family, did a lot of sports, traveled, and studied DJing. Taylor also draws well and likes to watch football matches. By the way, the actor maintains friendly relations with his Twilight partner, Kristen Stewart. They often spend time together and support each other at various events. And in 2019, Kristen was at Taylor's birthday party. Despite his lack of roles, Taylor's fans have not forgotten about him and follow his life. When in 2020 he organized the sale of his clothes to raise money to help victims of the pandemic, his things were quickly sold out, particularly Taylor sold several designer leather jackets, autographed t-shirts, as well as more casual items such as t-shirts, sportswear, jeans, and shorts. In January 2022, the actor appeared in the family comedy Home Team on Netflix. At the center of the story is a scandal that occurred in 2012 when Sean Payton, the coach of the Saints football team, was disqualified, and he got a job coaching an ordinary school team where his son played. In addition to Lautner, the comedy stars Rob Schneider and Kevin James. At the moment, Taylor Lautner's fortune is estimated at $40 million. And at the peak of his popularity, advertising contracts brought him additional income. The actor became the face of the fashionable clothing brand Bench and toured Europe as the star ambassador of LG and Orange. Even after achieving world fame, Taylor remained living with his parents and younger sister in Valencia, California. The guy the teenage girls all over the world were crazy about took out the trash and mowed the lawn like a regular kid. He bought his house in 2012 in the San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles. The 10,000 square foot property went to the actor at a low price, just $1.86 million, as it was being sold for debt. The mansion has six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, walk-in closets, a kitchen with a breakfast bar, an open-plan living room, as well as a swimming pool with a sauna, a guest house, and a basketball court on site. In 2020, Lautner sold the house for $4.2 million. And in October of 2020, Taylor paid $3.8 million for a modern mansion in the suburb of Los Angeles, Agora Hills. The actor owns almost nine acres of land and 5,400 square feet of living space. The mansion, equipped with a smart home system, has a modern kitchen, a laundry room, a walk-in closet the size of a studio apartment, five bedrooms, several bathrooms, a spacious living room, and a covered gazebo in the backyard with a TV, and an open kitchenette. The interior is dominated by concrete and wood, and the glass walls offer a beautiful view of the valley and the panoramic pool on the territory. Taylor also owns a 10-acre plot of land in the Californian city of Castaic, which he bought in 2011 for $2 million. In Twilight and Abduction, Lautner's characters drove motorcycles, but in real life he is afraid of them, although he loves fast cars very much. His favorite brand is Bugatti, but there are still others, not so expensive cars in his garage. In 2011, Taylor paid $200,000 for a silver Mercedes SLS AMG. He has also been seen driving BMW 5 Series, Porsche 911 Turbo, Audi R8, Fisker Karma, and BMW Z4, and Mercedes-Benz G63. Do you think Taylor Lautner will be able to restart his career? If you like the video, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything interesting.